All right, guys, good day. Mr. G bringing you Wreckfest today. We are going to break this game down and we're going to give it a full review today. So what is Wreckfest? It's a little game put on by developer Bugbear, publisher THQ Nordic. It bills itself like this. Wreckfest is a demolition derby themed racing game with soft body damage modeling, sophisticated driving dynamics, in-depth vehicle upgrading featuring both demolition derbies and more traditional track races. It's all about fun, breakneck racing, and over-the-top crashes, but can they deliver on all those promises? A little history about myself before we get into that. I was a farm boy. I grew up on a farm. We had all this stuff. Not exactly like it's in-game, but pretty much all of it is real deal stuff. We had lawnmower race down the main street of my town. Uh, we had demolition derbies. We had eight uh, figure eight demolition derby races. And we even had combine demolition derbies. Now, this game has definitely jazzed all that stuff up and made it into an over-the-top ridiculous game with super awesome physics. But let's get into it. Let's break it down. Pros and cons. So, pros for Wreckfest. Damage modeling. I remember being a kid playing racing games and I was like, this is the lamest damage modeling of all time. There was either no damage modeling at all or it was just, you know, scripted, like a certain amount of damage, oh, fire pops out. This game is not like that at all. It is super specific physical damage modeling. Not only that, but it tells you what hardware is impacted and that directly impacts the driving of your vehicle because the whole game is about wrecking stuff. It's called Wreckfest. If they couldn't do the damage modeling right, that the whole game would be a flop. And they've been working on this forever. This thing's been called Next Car Game. It's been in beta and alpha, and they've been just nailing the damage modeling before they even went with the game mode. And they got that right. They got that really right. Next on pros is physics. Cars handle well. They feel good. They feel weighty. They feel squishy where they need to feel squishy. Feels good. Uh, the cars themselves look great. The textures look great. Just everything down to the paint and the grittiness. I mean, they don't feel like brand new cars. These look like things that are just beat up, fixed up demolition derby cars. And that's the way it should be. When I was a kid, we took an old 1975 Cadillac, painted it bright orange, took all the glass out of it and got it all demolition derby legal. You've got to take out all kinds of stuff and meet a bunch of safety regulations before you can even do that. Because nobody wants shards of glass in their face when they're doing a demolition derby. So is it true to the real deal? Not too shabby. And yeah, the cars look good. Um, what else? There's mods for this things. We don't really have a chance to check those out just yet, but I'm looking forward to trying some of those later. There's lots of different racing modes. You actually start out doing lawnmower demolition derby, which is probably totally not a thing, but we did have a lawnmower race in my hometown. They had to ban it because my dad's friend souped up his lawnmower with a snowmobile engine and it went so fast he was doing 60 down Main Street and they couldn't cover the insurance and they never did it again. This game, you're actually straight up ramming people with lawnmowers, which, you know, hey, why not? It also has racing, figure eight races, standard racing, classic derby, deathmatch style, and even combine demolition derbies, full on harvesters. Yeah, I went to see one of those when I was about 10. Sadly, underwhelming. Combines are really, really slow. Imagine a scene from Austin Watch Powers where he's in the steamroller and he's charging the guy. Yeah, that's how it is with combine demolition derbies. Um, all right, cons for this thing. Well, the biggest con is the price tag uh, coming in at $44 US. That's a lot of money to spend on a game. Um, if you're really into this, you're really into cars, and you're really into smashing stuff, you know, you were into the Burnout series or whatever, give this a go. It's probably worth the price tag. 40 maybe be a little bit closer. I mean, if you wait, it'll go out on sale a little bit later. Pick it up for a little bit less later down the road. And the only other really con I could find with this game was that the cars themselves weren't the actual make and models. Like, take a look at this thing. It's American midsize. Well, it looks more like a 67 Mustang, but they can't actually call it that. So they tried to stay true to actual American car bodies and car models and makes, but they didn't actually get the license. So I suppose that's saving you some cost with this thing. I 100% recommend this game. It's absolutely awesome, and I love playing it. Really enjoyed it. If you found this review helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. I do a lot of stuff with cars, racing games, and cars that blow each other up. So come check out the channel. Mr. G out.